I am uh, Sid Ganguly. I am the director of myeloma program at University of Kansas Medical Center. Uh, it's a pretty large Midwest transplant program. We do around 340 transplants a year and myeloma is one of our big ones. Uh, we do around 100 to 120 transplants a year. We have uh, many trials uh, available at KU, um, forwarded trials. Uh, we have um, pharmaceutical trials and investigative initiated trials. Um, I'm here to talk about uh, one of my IITs, that is investigator initiated trials. Um, after the IFM DFCI report, uh, we kind of accepted that um, upfront and early autologous transplantation is the standard of care for patients that are transplant eligible with multiple myeloma. But still, in 2016, um, we are not curing multiple myeloma for various reasons. One of the reasons is um, clonal diversity and clonal evolution of the myeloma cells. But another thing that we found out is almost universal contamination of the collected stem cell product with myeloma neoplastic plasma cells. Uh, that has been shown by previous studies, by PCR techniques. Um, so um, my trial is a very simple concept. Uh, it has two components. One is we're trying to do what is called in vivo purging. We're using um, proteasome inhibitors like bortezomib in a randomized uh, fashion uh, prior to collection of the stem cells um, uh, harvesting procedure. Um, and we are also doing a MRD type of assessment using multi-parametric flow cytometer of the collected stem cells um, in both the arms of the uh, products. And hence, we can actually exactly tell how much contamination we have, whether we do the in vivo purging or not, before we put the stem cells back to our patients. So one way, it is an attempt to clean up the product. Second way, it is to show how clean is our product. And the third is, of course, we will have safety, efficacy, and eventually survival analysis to show if we do give clean products or cleaner products um, compared to um, standard of care arm, whether there is any long-term outcome difference or not. So this is a very exciting topic. Right now we are using with our existing proteasome inhibitors. Eventually we might um, expand that with monoclonal antibodies also using in vivo purging technique. So I thought I should share this little bit of information with you.